All right, so welcome to the smart groups tutorial. First off, what are smart groups, right? So smart groups are a way to organize your employees. All right, so why are they called smart groups? The reason why they're called smart groups is because they're based on rules. If you apply to that rule, you'll automatically be added to that specific group. If you do not apply to that rule, you will automatically be off that specific group. That's why they're called smart. The system is working for you. You just have to set this up once. Now, why is this a great thing to use smart groups right off the start of creating your very own account? Is because we automatically want to differentiate between team members and groups. We want to be able to send relevant content to the relevant groups and hide specific content from specific groups. For instance, if I have three stores, I want an easy way to send information to store number one, to store number two, and to store number three. I don't want to send it to all three groups. I don't want it to take too much time. I want it to be quick and efficient. So how do we start with creating smart groups? First off, we need to start with custom fields, meaning assigning the users specific credentials in order to create the rules later on. So as I enter the user page, I'll be able to see all my users. For instance, I'm going to create smart groups based on positions, for instance, okay? Because I have many positions in my company. So I'm gonna to come to manage fields. Okay, I entered the users page and I'm gonna to come to manage fields. And over here I can create a field, right? I can add new field. I've created one that is already called position, right? I've created a drop down field. So for instance, how does this work? I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna add a field. And I'm going to use a drop down and I'm going to call this, for instance, position. And I'm going to do position manager user chef and so on and so on. I think you get the drift, right? I can also decide what field settings it will have, if it's required, not required, visible for the app, for the users on the app, and so on and so on. All right. Once I create that, I'm going to come to each user and decide what position he or she are currently on. For instance, I'm going to give Ross VP, okay? If I go to another user, for instance, Rachel, I'm going to decide that she is a worker or a chef, it doesn't really matter. Now that I've created a position for each employee, meaning a rule for each employee, a difference between each employee, I can create the smart group. So I'm going to come to the smart group and I'm going to create a smart group. As you can see, I've already created many, but let's show you exactly how to create one. I'm going to come to add group and I'm going to give this group a name and I'm going to call this group, for instance, VP. Okay. I'm going to go to next here. I'm going to create the specific rule. So I'm going to do select, right? And I'm going to come to, for instance, position, because that's what we spoke about. Position is and I'm going to go to VP, okay? As you can see here, all my users that under position are VP, I'll be able to see that they are assigned automatically to this group, okay? I'm going to go to next, and I'm going to press confirm. Now those four employees are automatically assigned to that smart group. Let me show you something neat to kind of get your head around this. If I go to users, right now there's four employees there. If I go to users, okay, and I, for instance, go to Ross, and I take him off VP and put him under manager, then the smart group is automatically going to become, instead of four users, three users, right? And so on and so on. Meaning, again, a smart group is a group based on rules. If you apply to those rules, you will automatically be added or deducted. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.